All right, so this is combo number one. We're gonna go jab, right cross, left hook, right cross. I'm gonna show you in slow motion, and I'm gonna do it in real time here. So, when I get in your fight stance here, we're gonna extend the jab, we're gonna follow up with the cross, we're gonna make sure that we're pivoting with our hips, we're gonna, next punch would be a left hook here, we wanna make sure that our hook is parallel with the ground, and then we're gonna finish with the right cross here. So, this is what it looks like in real time. Here's combo number one. All right, so this is combo number two. It's gonna be jab, right cross, left shovel hook, right uppercut. What we wanna do is we really wanna twist that core with this here. We're going from left shovel hook to right uppercut. So this is what it looks like in slow motion. Jab, right cross, get down, left shovel hook, and then your right uppercut, you're gonna extend through there. So in real time, this is what it looks like. All right, if you wanna swing around, get this other angle here. So when you get down, you want to crouch down with that shovel hook, rip that shovel hook, and then explode up with the upper uppercut. So one more time. There you have it. There's combo number two. All right, so here's combo number three, and it's more of a burnout than a combination, but you'll see it in your workouts. It's alternating leg kicks. You can change the height of them forever, how comfortable you are. Right now, what you really want to focus on is just hitting your laces to the pads. It's not so much of a power, but more of just a, a speed drill. So you just want to rotate your hips. And you're almost just facing the machine, just alternating right and left leg kicks. And as you can see, I'm swinging my hips. So when I throw that, that left leg kick, I'm swinging with my hips. It's much more difficult than just going like this, okay? You want to, you want to pivot on that right foot when you're throwing the left. And when you come back down, you're gonna to wanna to pivot on your left foot when you throw the right. All right, so it's just back and forth. And if you want to, you can put a little more power into it. But like I said, this combination is more of a burnout, just alternating leg kicks, and there you have it. That's combo number three. All right, so combo number four, here we got, we got left hook, right down elbow, left hook, Right knee, so we're gonna perform from the right side of the G1000. So this is what it looks like in slow motion. Left hook, right down elbow, come back up to the top of the left hook, and then you're gonna pull in that knee. So in real time, here we go. And there you have it, combo number four. All right, so here we have combo number five. And what this is, is a low right hook, high left shovel hook, Low right hook, high left shovel hook. Now, this is a little exaggerated. Most opponents, this would be a below the belt shot, but it's a fitness based class, and we're really we're exaggerating it. So, this is a high shovel hook. We want to get down when we throw this low hook. We want to get down and squat, and we want to twist. And then, when we throw that shovel hook, we want to explode up with that shovel hook. And then, right back down, and then explode up. So, we're, we're working the whole body here. So, in slow motion, we're going to get down, we're going to twist, we're going to pop up, drop right down, twist and then pop back up, and that's your four strike combination. So, here we go. There you have it. There's combo number five. All right, so here we have combo number six. I'm gonna start off with a low left leg kick, come in with a jab, a cross, and then a left hook. So this is what it looks like in slow motion. So here it is. Now you want to find your distance when you do this because you're going to come in with the left leg kick and then you're going to drop down with the jab, the cross, and the left hook here. So, there you have it. There's combo number six. 